Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of the Super Breakdown. Today we're looking at the MSN-03 Yakdoga, piloted by Gune Goss himself. I really love the design of the Yakdoga. I think the Yak is such a cool design. Uh, as much as I'm not a big fan of Funnel Spam, uh, the <laughs> man the Yakdoga uses it really well. You have that three missile spread that's really nice and actually doesn't take that much time to come back to charge wise. And you have the funnels, of course. But the Yogtoga is at 300, so most of its kit isn't going to be quite as damaging as the uh, New Gundam or the Sasabi. However, what the Yogtoga has in really, really nice supply is melee combo. So you have the ability to do this fun little spin that is a stun that you can then combo straight into an amazing melee combo. You have this tracking tackle here that has some pretty decent tracking on it and lets you go into another combo that again does really decent damage and does not down them. This is the most important thing about it. It does not down them so you can follow it up with a shot or you can follow it up with a burst or whatever it is you normally want to hit them with. Uh, but the next hit will down them. They will be down there for the next hit. So it's important to keep that in mind. So you can go for just the basic shot or you can use that time to set up your funnels. Uh, but after the first hit, they will be down. The burst is a simple melee burst that unfortunately we got interrupted there. Uh, and then it has this melee parry. It's really cool. Uh, I've had no luck at all getting it done with uh, people online. Uh, most people I didn't think knew about it, so I was like, oh, here we go, it's going to be easy. Uh, but I guess they just see a stationary target and just kind of, you know, shoot, which can't block. Um... I think you're supposed to use it at the last second to like knock the beam saber aside and then it gives you an opening to be able to go for a melee combo. Uh, it's really tough to get that done with AI because most of the time they just kind of fly around. But I have been able to pull it off every once in a while. I'll try to pull it off. So should you use the Yoga? Is the Yoga worth using among the 300s in this game? Yeah, I think so. It's a super easy to pull off stun. The striker has a really nice pop-up function to it. It has funnels that people online really hate. So you can poke at them with those. It has this fun little missile spam that, like I said, reloads pretty quickly and fires pretty fast in the three-shot increment. I definitely think it's worth using. Um, I find the charge shot isn't that useful. Like, it's fine. It's a nice little shot from his shield. But it's nothing to write home about. Uh, but again, the big thing for me is this melee combo that does not down them. Because then you can go straight into any other attack. You may only get one shot, but you can go from that down into a... Or not down, into a stun. And then really get to... Which I'm going to try and show off here. Oh, I killed him off. Uh, because that shield vest also does really good damage. Oh, oh. There you go. And it's, it's just a really good combo, I think. Most people don't expect it either because they... I guess most people expect to be down after a melee combo. Most melee combos down you. So the fact that that one doesn't at all is really cool. I also recommend when using funnels that you don't fire them all off at once. A lot of people do just fire them all and then they just have funnels everywhere. But if you only fire like one, then you can catch people by surprise where they may not have expected it. Yeah, I absolutely think Yakdo is worth using. Um, it's very quick, it's very powerful for a 300. It may wind up becoming one of my favorites among the 300s, I'm going to have to play around with it a little bit more. But I just love how useful that melee combo is, and again, the fact that it doesn't... I feel like it's all I'm saying, but the fact that it doesn't result in a down means that you can then hit someone with like another Garobi from a teammate. Uh, pair this up with the Buster or the Duel, and you really have an interesting combination. Until next time, I've been Trey, this has been the Full Spectrum, and remember to always enjoy the Full Spectrum that the Yak Doga has to offer.